My dear God's people, we are on the 24th Sunday of year C. The overarching theme of this Sunday readings is God's immense mercy shown to human beings. In the first reading, God extends his mercy to the apostate Israelites who left God the Yahweh and worshipped an idol. In the second reading, St. Paul expresses that God has been so generous to show his mercy towards him and forgive him when he had been a persecutor and a sinner. And in the gospel passage, the mercy of God flows to those who get lost, who go astray like the prodigal son. I would like to reflect with you with three points today. First point, the realization. Let's have the prodigal son at the back of our mind. It was Kabir Das, the Indian mystic poet of the 15th century, who said, I laughed and laughed when I heard them say that the fish in the ocean is thirsty. Scientifically, fish cannot be thirsty when it is in the water. But Kabir says, human being is the only fish that is thirsty being in the ocean of God's love because he never realizes or refuses to realize that he is swimming always in the ocean of God's love, mercy and happiness. The prodigal son is like that fish who never realized that he was always in the ocean of love of his father. He never counted his blessings and therefore he thought that the grass is greener on the other side and so left the ocean of love and got lost. But when he realized his mistake, there was a turning point in his life and he decided to come back to his father, the ocean of love. And when he came back, he experienced again all the blessings of his father. My dear God's people, we need to come to a realization that we are so fortunate among all the creatures on this earth. As human beings, we need to count our blessings. And even if we are in sin or have gone astray from the love of God, we need to realize that our Heavenly Father is always waiting for us with His arms wide open. The second point, God's mercy. The nature of our God, of our Heavenly Father as shown perfectly in Jesus Christ is love and mercy. Our God is love and mercy. Our realization makes God's mercy and forgiveness operative, effective. Let me explain. I like this anecdote from the book of Bishop Fulton Shin. You see, there is always music in the air, in the atmosphere, but ordinarily we do not hear that music. We cannot hear any sound as such of music. But only when we tune the radio to certain frequency, we can get those sound waves and we can enjoy some beautiful music that has always been there in the atmosphere. That's exactly how is the mercy and forgiveness of God is always, and I repeat, always available to us. It depends on us to tune ourselves with a perfect realization. Only then his forgiveness will be operative. The father of the prodigal son had already forgiven his son as soon as he moved out from the embrace of his love. But that forgiveness could not be operative unless and until the son came to a realization of his mistake. And when he repented and realized his mistake, the forgiveness of his father that has always been there became operative and effective 
and that's why he went to the father father welcomed him with a loving embrace the son needed to go back to put his realization into action for his own satisfaction to know for sure that his father had forgiven him that's what exactly happens my dear people of god in the sacrament of reconciliation confession the priest who sits in the confessional representing the eternal priest jesus christ forgives your sins you need to tell the sins to the priest you need to express what you have realized only then the forgiveness becomes total and then there is happiness and joy we rejoice and therefore the third point is participating in the joy all the three parables in the gospel passage today first the parable of the lost sheep second the parable of the lost coin and third the parable of the lost son all three invite us to participate in the celebration in the joy at the return or at finding the lost one the god who showed mercy to the apostate israelites in the wilderness always rejoices at the salvation of every single person just like a shepherd who rejoices after finding his lost sheep or like a woman who rejoices over finding a lost coin the question posed by these parables is whether the righteous ones will enter the party the celebration will they participate in the joy at the return of the prodigal the elder brother of the prodigal son did not enter or he refused to enter yet times my dear people of god we behave like this elder brother of the prodigal son refusing to enter into the joy of the ones who have received or experienced god mercy and forgiveness at times we feel that we deserve god's mercy but not my enemy we think that he deserves or she deserves punishment it's a challenge for us today so today do not boast about your merits thinking that you are better than the other just like the elder brother but even if you are righteous god is inviting you today to participate in the joy to enter the party to enter the celebration are you ready may god bless each one of you